Hello and welcome. Today we're embarking on a fascinating journey to explore the top 10 Asian countries brimming with single women. We'll journey through bustling cities and serene landscapes, delving into the cultural and societal nuances that contribute to this intriguing demographic. To present an authentic experience, our exploration will be unfiltered, devoid of any flashy text, filters, effects, or jarring transitions. Our first stop takes us to the heart of Southeast Asia, Thailand, renowned for its vibrant culture, delectable cuisine, and captivating history. But beyond its tourist attractions lies a demographic trend, a significant proportion of single women. The reasons are diverse, ranging from a culture that encourages independence in women to a focus on personal and professional growth. Thailand boasts a high literacy rate among women, empowering them to pursue education and careers. This economic independence allows them to make choices about their lives, including delaying marriage or choosing to remain single. Furthermore, Thai society is relatively accepting of diverse lifestyles, reducing the pressure on women to conform to traditional marital expectations. Our next destination brings us to the Philippines, an archipelago nation celebrated for its stunning beaches, lush rainforests, and the infectious warmth of its people. Here, a significant number of women navigate life as singles, contributing to the country's vibrant social fabric. Filipino culture places a strong emphasis on family, but this doesn't necessarily translate to pressure to marry young. Women are often raised to be independent and resourceful, capable of supporting themselves and their families. This, coupled with increasing access to education and employment opportunities, has led many Filipino women to prioritize personal and professional aspirations before considering marriage. Our journey continues northwards to Vietnam, a nation steeped in history and tradition, yet undergoing rapid modernization. Vietnamese women, known for their resilience and grace, are increasingly choosing to remain single, reflecting a fascinating interplay of cultural norms and evolving aspirations. Traditionally, Vietnamese society placed a high value on marriage and family, with women often marrying young. However, economic growth and urbanization have brought about a shift in perspectives. More women are pursuing higher education and entering the workforce, delaying marriage to focus on their careers and personal goals. Our exploration now takes us to the world's most populous nation, China, where a unique demographic phenomenon is unfolding, a significant gender imbalance favoring men. This disparity, coupled with changing societal values, has resulted in a large number of single women, particularly in urban areas. The one-child policy, in place for several decades, contributed to a preference for sons, leading to a skewed sex ratio at birth. As a result, there are now significantly more men than women of marriageable age. This, combined with rising education levels and economic independence among women, has empowered them to be more selective in their choice of partners, leading to a rise in singlehood. Our journey through Asia's single ladies landscape now takes us to Japan, a land of contrasts, where ancient traditions coexist with futuristic technology. Amidst this dynamic society, a growing number of women are choosing to remain single, challenging traditional norms and redefining what it means to live a fulfilling life. Several factors contribute to this trend including a demanding work culture that often leaves little time for dating and relationships. The high cost of living, particularly in major cities, also makes marriage less appealing for some. Furthermore, Japanese society is becoming increasingly accepting of diverse lifestyles, with singlehood no longer carrying the same stigma it once did. Our next stop is South Korea, a nation renowned for its technological prowess, vibrant pop culture, and dedication to education. Within this modern society, a growing number of women are opting out of marriage, embracing singlehood as a valid and fulfilling lifestyle choice. South Korea's economic prosperity has led to a rise in women pursuing higher education and demanding careers. This economic independence allows them to prioritize personal goals and aspirations, often delaying or foregoing marriage altogether. Additionally, the pressure to conform to traditional gender roles is lessening, empowering women to define their own paths. Our exploration now brings us to Indonesia, the world's largest archipelago nation, home to a dazzling array of cultures, languages, and traditions. Within this diverse tapestry, a significant population of women navigate life as singles, reflecting a complex interplay of cultural norms, economic realities, and personal aspirations. Indonesian society is generally considered to be family-oriented, with marriage often seen as a significant milestone. However, this doesn't negate the growing number of women choosing to remain single. Factors such as increased access to education and employment opportunities, 
coupled with a desire for personal and professional fulfillment, contribute to this trend. Our journey continues to Malaysia, a Southeast Asian nation known for its blend of modern cities and pristine rainforests. Malaysian women, like their counterparts across Asia, are increasingly choosing to remain single, reflecting a society in flux, where traditional values intersect with modern aspirations. Malaysia is a multicultural nation, with Islam being the dominant religion. While marriage is encouraged within Islam, there's no compulsion for women to marry at a certain age. Furthermore, Malaysia's economic growth has opened up opportunities for women in education and employment, enabling them to be financially independent and make choices about their marital status. Our penultimate stop takes us to Singapore, a bustling city-state renowned for its economic prosperity, efficiency, and multiculturalism. Amidst this dynamic environment, a growing number of women are choosing to embrace singlehood, driven by a combination of factors, including career aspirations and evolving societal norms. Singapore boasts a highly educated female population, with many women excelling in their chosen fields. The competitive job market and high cost of living often necessitate a strong focus on career development, leaving limited time and energy for romantic pursuits. Moreover, Singaporean society is becoming increasingly accepting of diverse lifestyles, reducing the pressure on women to conform to traditional expectations. Our final destination brings us to Mongolia, a landlocked nation in East Asia, renowned for its vast steppes, nomadic heritage, and rich cultural traditions. Mongolian women, known for their strength and resilience, are increasingly navigating life as singles, reflecting a unique blend of cultural norms and evolving societal dynamics. Traditionally, Mongolian society placed a high value on marriage and family, with women often marrying young. However, modernization and urbanization have brought about shifts in perspectives. More women are pursuing higher education and entering the workforce, delaying marriage to focus on their careers and personal goals. As our exploration concludes, it's evident that the rise of single women in Asia is a multifaceted phenomenon, shaped by a complex interplay of cultural, economic, and societal factors. From the bustling streets of Bangkok to the serene landscapes of Mongolia, women are challenging traditional norms and embracing singlehood as a valid and fulfilling lifestyle choice. This trend reflects a global shift towards female empowerment and autonomy, as women prioritize personal and professional aspirations, redefining what it means to live a meaningful life. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more interesting insights.